welcome to surgery school this is audrey from skirt fixation take the surger, take the surger out, of the box. out of the box welcome to lesson one take the surger out of the box guys that's basically it for today i'm going to go on and talk about supplies to order and the different accessories a little bit about the parts of the machine but really today you got to conquer your fear and take your surger out of the box For the Serger School lessons, I'm going to be using the Brother 1034D. This is one of the most popular sergers out there because it's a good one and it's easy to use and it's affordable. But you can use the Serger School lessons with your serger at home even if you don't own the Brother 1034D. The lessons will be generic enough that you can use them with your serger. Take the serger out of the box. Okay, after you have your serger out of the box, the only other thing we're gonna do today is talk about the accessories, what they are, what they do. So first of all, you have a tweezers, which helps you when you're threading, this little brush, which helps you for cleaning, and a little wrench for if, when you need to take parts of the serger apart to clean it or oil it. We'll get into all that later, don't worry about it. Also, you might have some needles with it and a couple different feet. Don't sweat it. The one you need to start with is currently on the serger. We'll talk about the others later. You also have some warning papers and an accessory order form, the serger techniques manual, and the handbook, which helps you will learn a lot of things about how to do the serger. Don't worry, we're going to go over them all. Don't be intimidated. Two CDs came with my serger, and they're slightly outdated, but if you want extra credit for today's lesson, you can go ahead and watch them. One is about techniques, and one is instructions. There are also four nets thread nets that go over your thread when you're using nylon thread or a slippery thread that's just going to go haywire you put these nets over your thread we'll sew with that later and you have four wheels these are called thread spool caps and four cone looking things these are for under the large serger threads to keep them from rattling all around when you're sewing and these wheels or thread spool caps go under the smaller thread spools with the pointed end down. There's also this little tray that comes with the serger. It is for catching, um, your serger has a knife and it catches any uh, scraps as they come off as you're surging. To put it on, um, tip your serger back a little bit slide the thread tray under and pull it just pull it forward a little bit there's nothing no hook or anything that it catches on but um there's just a little ridge under there and it it just sits here flush against your machine and catches any scraps down in that tray it'll fill up really fast the last accessory is this little thin plastic cover and it's the first accessory we're going to get rid of because in your first lesson on sewing, we're going to make a new serger cover. But if you want to know how it works, you just push this telescoping pole down, cover it up with this little flimsy cover. We're going to make a real nice pretty one using our serger soon. Take the serger. Your assignment for today is to go over to the blog post linked in the description section where I talk about what you need to get started with your serger. You need to order thread, first of all, and I recommend a certain kind, a low lint thread so that you can um, not have extra lint. The serger creates a lot of dust and lint as you sew. We'll talk about cleaning later, but you don't want your thread to be adding to all this dust. So I have the kind of thread that I recommend linked over there. And as also, as you can see, I only have three colors of serger thread, but it's starting to take up 
a lot of space here. So I have some storage solution ideas for your thread linked over there as well. Now I would recommend you start with three colors of serger thread, white, black, and gray. Your gray is going to match with just about everything you serge except white or black and then you'll have those colors as well. Your darker navy blues and browns you can use black on and whites and creams and light yellows, light pinks, you can use white and then gray will work for everything else. Okay everybody, that's it. In summary, take your serger out of the box. Order your thread. Go over to the blog post linked in the description below and get your homework assignment. It's easy. You can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. Take the surgery out of the box. Take the surgery out of the box.